Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about transformation. How you can easily transform text, images, or even shapes, and then um, add some effects. So, as you can see in this project, I'm having three layers: a background layer, a text layer, and I've also placed an image, which is um, <coughs> currently hidden. So, basically, if you want to transform an object on your project you have to activate the free transform so the free transform you can access this when you go to edit if you click on edit and then you go to um, free transform or you can use the keyboard shortcut which is control t so i'm going to use the, um, the shortcut so when i press control t uh, as you can see i have now activated free transform then when I right click, I will be able to see um, free transform, scale, rotate, skew, um, uh, warp, and the ones that are grayed out, you cannot use them with this type of um, uh, object. So uh, basically, if you want to activate this one, so for now, what I can do with this um, free transform on this text layer is I can rotate, I can um, uh, skew. Now let's look what skew does. So when I click on it, then I will now be able to, you know, make some transformation. So anywhere I click here, I will be able to move these things, as you can see. So that's what the skew does. Okay. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, so, but when I come back and then right click, you see, it's not there. So that means I have to press Control T again to activate it. So let's see what the warp does. So the warp at this point, the warp is not going to work on this layer, right? It's not going to work on this layer. So what we can do, I'm going to undo. Now, if I want to, let's say for example, I want to use perspective on this text layer. So, but I am not able to use perspective on this layer because it is a text layer. So I have to convert this um, uh, into something else so that uh, that's what they call rasterize. I have to rasterize this layer so that I will be able to use perspective and the others that are grayed out. Now, to be able to do that, because uh, first, what you need to do, I advise you to first um, uh, create a backup of this layer in case because sometimes you design and then um, uh, because this is irreversible. It's not. It's not irreversible because when you convert this. Um, uh, to something else you will not be able to reverse it and you may not be able to edit the text later so what you can do here you are going to create a backup of this layer so what you can do is basically you can just right click and then say duplicate layer and then have another copy of this layer or you can easily press ctrl j or if you want you can just click and drag that layer and bring it here you see the moment you place it on that icon and then you release it it will create a copy of that layer so as you can see now you have transform and you have transform copy so we're gonna hide the original one and work on the copy so now this copy i am going to rasterize it so i'm going to right click and then i'm going to click um rasterize type so when you click on rasterize type now this layer you cannot edit it that means you cannot just click text now and then start changing it no it's not going to work because that's why i ask you i advise you to first create a copy in case you want to come back and make some changes so when you rasterize that means you will not be able to edit it anymore but now let me just press ctrl t when i press ctrl t and right click you will now see that distort um, uh, perspective and warp will now work so let's see warp because initially we use warp and nothing happened so now let's click on warp so now when you click on warp now you see you're seeing some of these points here so when i click for example i drag on this you see now i am transforming right so you can create your own text effect here your own font somehow see you can move all these points and then um, transform the text so basically this is what the the warp does so if you are satisfied you can just click on the commit button or press enter so i'm going to cancel that and show you what the um uh, so i'm going to press ctrl t again so i'm right clicking and then let's try distort so this is what distort does distort you can do something like that 
right you can do something like that right as you can see you can do so many interesting things so perspective is somehow a little bit you know similar to the to the distort a bit but perspective gives you a kind of a let's see how it works so if you click on perspective let's say i scale this one here see so it gives you this kind of effect so it's very interesting so uh, just remember that some of the options if you want to use them you have to rasterize the layer now this is not only for text there are even some other images when you import them you must rasterize them in most ways in some cases so that you'll be able to do some of the effects on them okay so now um let's move on to let me just hide this layer and then go to the image so the image also you can perform the same operation so i can press ctrl t and then i can right click as you can see with with an image um you will be the nothing will be um distort i told you nothing will be grayed out here so when i click perspective i can directly i don't need to rasterize an image to be able to um, uh, do these things yeah so as you can see you can easily transform see you can easily transform uh, the object freely with these points right so you just have to play around with it until you have what you want right so when it comes to distort there is distort yes distort also you'll be able to um, manipulate some stuff so that's um, uh, the free trans uh, transform so you can play around it with photoshop and then make some interesting effects so let me try it with um, shape and see so i'm going to draw a shape here and then yes the shape is having a black color so if i say control t and then i right click so i will also be able to do the same things that i was doing with the image or with the with the text right so this is just um all about the the free transform tool so make sure you play around with it until you get familiar with it so that you can use it in your designs all right so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and see you on the next lesson